Hi all, welcome to Textbird Solutions. Today let's demonstrate how we can create disk libraries on Commvault using two methods. For that, from the left side on Comcell browser, you need to go to storage resources. Under storage resources, go to libraries. From library, right click and click on add. Then you should see multiple options wherein you select disk libraries. On the add li disk library window, on the first column, you need to mention the name of the library. In this case, I'm just mentioning disk underscore library. Okay. On the second column, you need to select the media agent on which you wanted to create the library. Uh, here, I'm going to use local path. However, you can also use a network path. For network path, you need to mention the credential. This can then you need to mention the network path. As I said, I will be creating the library on the local path here. You need to select local path, click on the three dots that is nothing but browse. Okay. As soon as you just click, it will connect to the MED agency route. Here I have only C drive. Under C drive, I'm creating a folder, new folder, just for creating a disk library. You can create this on a different drive, dedicated drive. Normally, it's not recommended to create it on C drive. But as it's for testing purpose, I'm just creating on C drive. You can name your folder name. Just click OK. Then select the folder that you created. And just click OK. Okay, then click OK on that disk library window. As soon as you click on OK, the library will get created. You can see this is a very simple method to create a disk library on Commvault console. Okay, now my disk library is ready. Now you can also create this library using a different method that's from the expert storage configuration that's under the storage tab you just need to click on expert storage configuration on expert storage configuration window select the media agent here in this case i'm selecting the media agent 2 again just click ok click OK on the information. You can see the library that we created is already visible and saying that it's already configured. Now right click on the libraries, click on add. Here you have different options but still you need to select this library. Mention the alias name that is nothing but the disk library name. Here in this case I'm creating disk library 2. Okay, just click on OK. You can also create tick this. Once you tick that, it will create new storage policies. Okay. As soon as you click on OK, the new window will come. This is to add the disk library. Here you can see the disk device is add new device. Okay, because we don't have a mount path already created. You can see a base folder name here. You can change that. You will notice that this option was not there with the previous method because that will automatically pick the name that got created. Okay, in this case also I'm using a local path. I'm creating a different folder. Select the folder and click on OK. then click OK. Here you can notice that the network path option is also available. The only difference here is you can mention the base folder name that was not available on the other option. You can see the disk library is already configured. Now you can see the difference for the below one that is disk library one you can see the label name is different that was automatically created and the one that was created here is a customized one. Uh, it don't really make any difference in terms of writing data but if you wanted to keep it in a standard way you can just configure 
your library using expert storage configuration. This can be verified from the data path tab. Once you created the disk library or the mount path, you will not be able to change the base folder name. 